hello guys uh, in this video uh, i will discuss about the modification of poq that is how to add more rows or the delete rows or add or delete the columns in the boq excel file so first of all let's download a template boq file from the e-procurement website portal So we will uh, download the item rate BOQ template and modify it. Okay, let's uh, enable the macros. Okay, now this is the template uh, BOQ file for item rate and uh, this is the time it has some def, uh, predefined uh, items which we are going to modify now every boq uh, excel file is password protected so before doing any modification we have to unprotect the sheet so let's go to the review tab and then unprotect sheet the default password is testing so we'll unprotect the sheet now we can Mod modify the columns and rows now let's uh, understand the boq in a very simple way the highlighted rows here and all these are the rows where the bidder has to enter his values and the remaining ones will be prepared by the tender inviting company or firm or department and after that the sheet will be password protected once again and the bidders cannot more modify any of the uh, rows except the highlighted ones okay now we will modify the boq from the point of view of the tender inviting authority so let's say we want to add more rows or delete the rows which we don't require now the rows which are highlighted highlighted here and here are the headers and and for these header rows there will be no uh, option for quoting the price and and there will be no formulas in the corresponding columns but for this column say 1.01 .01, it has an item name it has some quantity and there are some formulas and calculations and there is also a uh, column for the bidder to quote the price now let's say uh, we don't require these many rows and we want only uh, rows number four rows from one to four now what we will do we'll simply select we'll take the mouse to the very uh, edge of the uh, excel sheet and then we'll click left click and drag the rows that we don't want and once selected we can simply again right click and delete the rows okay now if we enter something we'll get the values okay let's delete it now now one thing to remember is that we must follow the uh, sequence numbers here so if this become one then we'll make it two and then 2.01 2.02 2.03 2 and this may be 2.04 or we can make it three also no problem but it's better to maintain a sequence now let's say uh, we want to add a row here we want to add a row then what we will do we'll just uh, select the row by make uh, by bringing the mouse pointer to the very edge of the excel sheet and then we'll right click and we will do copy again uh, we will select the row 
uh, above which we want to insert the row and then again we will right click and we will do insert copied cells in this way if we do just control c and control v means simple copy and paste then this thing will not work because the formulas which are uh, involved in this sheet in this file means in this row will not get copied now it now will simply change the serial number and that's it okay now the very basic rule for modifying a row is that row can be deleted but the same rule will not go for the columns if we delete a column here then all the formulas will get jumbled up and we and the boq file will give you some errors so suppose uh, we don't need this column then what we will do we'll in the same style we'll take the mouse pointer to the very top edge of the file means uh, row column number f and we'll right click it now we will not click the delete of button because if we de delete a column then the formulas might get some errors so we'll hide it simply hide it okay now we'll hide it and then uh, suppose uh, we don't want to show this units column then we'll simply click the column select the entire column then right click it here and we'll hide it okay and before closing the uh, boq file we'll again have to protect the sheet we can use the same default password or we can change it to something else so i will keep it the same one that is t e s t i n g again we have to re-enter it that's it now the boq file has been modified and it has been protected now we cannot change the uh, rows but only the bidder will be able to enter the name of his firm and code the rates okay that's it we'll just validate it because it, this will be an uh, warning but it's of no importance we can save the file and we'll continue here and we can close the file that's it the boq has now been more modified so in this video we have learned how to add or delete rows in a boq file and hide the columns that's all thank you